Greetings, critical viewers, and welcome to the final episode of The Wolf Among Us, Season 1. This is Episode 5, Cry Wolf. I said Season 1, but I don't actually know if there's going to be another season or not. I guess we'll find out in this episode. Uh, it just came out today, although by the time I post this, it will probably be the next day. And, uh, I'm okay with that, because <laughs> I've got a job. Alright, anyway, so, uh, let's start the episode. I mean, your eyes, and the teeth, you're not really supposed to do that, are you? <sighs> not if I can avoid it. Holly's sister, Lily. Do you even give a shit about us, the strays? That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? We're destroying the tree. No! We're not burning the tree, Snow. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? Look, uh, maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. Oh god, if we get to kill Bloody Mary this episode, I'll be so happy. Oh god, Bigby! This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Bigby, wait! When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. Alright, so hopefully we finally get some answers, and hopefully they'll also serve up some uh, twists and turns this final episode. I'm really expecting there to be some uh, glamour tricks in store, such as this character wasn't who you thought they were, they were glamoured up to be that way, and blah blah blah, stuff like that. At least I'm hoping that that's the direction it takes. I also hope that this goes deeper than the Crooked Man, because it seems kind of strange for it to just, uh, you know, end there. I don't know, uh, not really sure what to expect, but I'm excited to find out. You've come a long way. You must be tired. And if my envoys are correct, you haven't had a lot of rest recently. Yeah, I beat the shit out of Jersey Devil. Please, I'm Sheriff, still okay with that. Relax for a moment, will you? Do you want a drink? Something to eat? Vivian makes a very nice, very... It's elegant. Really, a carpaccio. It's lobster. Sirloin. I'm here for one reason, and it's not to eat your fucking food. That's right. Really? Yeah. What do you think you're doing? He's gonna. Mr. Wolf is our guest, and I have every intention of cooperating. So don't waste the silver. Sit down, Jersey. Yeah, that's right. Sit well, down, Jeff. lapdog. For the sake of transparency, why don't you tell us why you're here? It would help settle everyone's nerves, I think. You know why I'm here. You killed those women. What women? Faith and Lily, the girls who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Did I now? I assume by your confidence in accusing me, you must have some proof of this, yes? Some allotment of evidence. A witness, perhaps. Yep. Your servant over there told me you did it. That's a fucking lie! I didn't say anything like it's that! It's fine, 
All I said was that this was your town, and nothing wouldn't happen without your approval. All right? That's it. If only that were true. Those women. I don't relish telling you that the killings were perpetrated by an employee of mine. Uh -huh. It's a very unfortunate bit of business, but I promise Snow. you that the matter will be dealt with internally. I just want to settle the issue for you, and to assure you that it's over with. You really don't need to worry yourself further. Who was it? Headless Horseman? An unfortunate bit of business. You're gonna tell me right now who killed him. Sheriff, I have complete respect for you and your job. I hope you know that. But I simply can't divulge that information. The, the, what? You really Snow. shouldn't worry yourself. As I said, I've got this under control. No, I'm gonna deal with it right now. Yeah, right. What do you think this is? Some kind of negotiation? The man said he'd take care of it. So why don't you take the hint and get out? Tweedledee, please. I'm the law here, not you. Now tell me who did it. You think I'm scared of you. Oh, God. <laughs> You're nothing more That's than a- That's enough. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but in the interest of preserving our alliance, if you have to know, it was Georgie. Really? That's anticlimactic. However, like I said, I'd be handling the matter if you don't mind. Georgie, you got what you wanted, so just sit down now. So why did it happen? Yeah, I killed him, so what? Why? Should I just kept your nose where it fucking belonged. Why'd you do it? Why kill them? Does it matter? Look, yes! the fact is, George here misinterpreted one of my instructions. Misinterpreted? And I want to make things right. So, let's work something out. What's there to work out? I'm protected, aren't I? Your protection has limits, and I think you've far exceeded yours. But you could murder someone in cold blood like that. You fucking asked me to do this! And you then told attempt me to, to kill blame me for it. You will be silent. While we discuss what to do with you. This is right, bollocks, sis. You're just gonna let him do this? Dude, you don't so have any do friends say, here. Sheriff? Can we discuss terms? You what? can have Georgie. Consider it a gift. Ensuring our continued cooperation. What the hell? Take this fucker. Take all of them. I didn't fucking don't start make this. Any trouble, Georgie. Are you seriously throwing me under the fucking carriage after everything I've done for you? All right, let's talk. You can't just hand me over. What the fuck is this shit? You said you'd cover for us. For minor infractions, not murder. Just go with him, Georgie. You're going to sink us all. What's wrong with you people? You're really going to sell him out just like you that? You think I give a fuck if I'm the one? Who the shit do you think you fuckers are? Get the fuck out of here. I do apologize, Sheriff. But I think it's best if you leave now. There's no way I'm going with him. Are you kidding me? Things are about to get unpleasant, and I would rather you weren't here to watch. You can go join that whore at the bottom of the lake for all I give a shit, but he's not taking me anywhere. I'll roll over on the lot of you before I let that shit happen. What are you saying? Yeah, what the fuck? You're gonna make sure we all go down this shitter with you? I told you! I'm not going anywhere. That's this right. Gone so well. Well, to speak the truth, I've never been a very good mediator. Why negotiate when you can just decide? Oh God. You. <laughs> Did I miss anything good? Well, look at you, all fixed up. Really? Dude, I don't give a crap. Let's do this! Oh, oh, I wasn't prepared. Take this! Uh, you asshole! You're done, Wolf! Come on, we're pretty much done here. What the hell? Get Georgie. 
Oh like God! It's nice knowing you, but I'll be glad to see your insides turned out. Oh no! What just happened? Georgie, you're going down, buddy. You're not my buddy either. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, you know what? You suck too. All of you suck. This way. Eh. Okay, what the hell is going on over here? This is weird, man. I Come on, Georgie. Oh, I was expecting there to be shit. more twists. I know. Yeah, you better run. Is this episode gonna be one big quick time event or what? What, what am I doing here? What's that bar at the bottom? I don't get it. Oh gosh. Oh god. Oh, uh, get it. Oh my god. I still don't know what that bar at the bottom is, or what it means exactly. That one! Yeah! Oh, fuck! What was that? Dude, I'm going after Georgie. We can deal with the crooked man later. Take him off! I can't. I'm surprised she didn't run me over. Come on, Bigby. What convenient clothes right there. And everything's back to normal. So I chose to go after Georgie rather than the Crooked Man. Because, I mean, I really don't like him. Thanks for the information. You're a great investigator. Yeah, he's bleeding a lot. I hope he dies. Let's go. I want to know why, personally. Let's interrogate him. Come on. We can't stay here. Yeah, no shit. Hang on. I need a minute. Okay. How did this happen, Georgie? Well, it won't be your fault. It'll all happen. Just listen. But it isn't. Can you stand up? 
It's okay. Take your time. Slowly. <clears throat> oh, it's no fucking use. No way I'm walking out of here. Here. Uh, nope. It's gonna be okay. We'll get you fixed up. No, you won't. Here I come. Shit. Hello, Big B. I hoped you'd come to your senses. <laughs> oh, crooked man's the one you want. What? But of course, you're too much of an idiot to see that. Or maybe you just like me too much to let me go. That it, Sheriff. That's to say goodbyes first. I'm taking you in, Georgie. Let's go. Oh. You're gonna carry me? Please, Sheriff. What? Haven't Please? you done enough? What? Look at him. He's dying. Vivian, you don't know what you're doing. I'm trying to help you here. Just leave it alone. You can't seriously want to protect this guy. You know what he did. I'm not going anywhere. You're so annoying. Oh it my god. It isn't his fault. He's a murderer. Faith and Lily, he's the reason they're dead. Look, I know he made a few mistakes. We all have. What? He made sure they couldn't talk with those damn ribbons, and then he killed them. You're wearing one yourself. Doesn't that bother you even a little, knowing that man murdered- Of course it does. Those girls- So it's all my fucking fault then. I you didn't fucking- mean... ah! You're gonna throw me to the fucking wolf too? You know I didn't have a goddamn choice. What the fuck? I did what I had to! You can't fucking blame me for that. Look, I'm Sometimes just... you just have to do what you're told. Then it comes back to bite you in the ass because some good-for-nothing crooked bastard decides you're not worth shit anymore. Why'd you do it then, huh? If it's not your fault, then what the fuck happened? <sighs> Look, Faith and the others tried to pull a run on us. And as you can imagine, the crooked man wasn't too thrilled. But of course, the big boss didn't want to get his fucking hands dirty. <laughs> So he told me to take care of it. Okay, what were you his think, instructions? I don't know what that means. Either I do what he says or I'm the one getting dealt with. No, I so get I it. I fucking killed him. And I'd do it again. Because it's not my fault. The crooked man gave the order. He told me to kill them. And then he fucking sold me out. What did the he say exactly? George. You think I'm the one to fucking blame? That's not what I meant. I was just trying I to. I know what you were trying to do. You're trying to lay this all on me. You and everyone else. You're not thinking. Georgie, you know that's not what I meant. Then what was that? He calls me a murderer and you're gonna fucking take his side? Go ahead and arrest me then. But it won't bring back Lily or Faith. It won't free your friend Narissa. And I'm just the sap taking the fall for the whole thing. It must be so easy being you. Oh, just God. Just come in here and blame me for all this shit. Job's done, right? George is the bad guy. It's all his fucking fault. Yeah, it's real easy, isn't it? But what was I supposed to do? You don't know what it's like, Bigby. How could you know? At the end of the day, you're just like him. What? Coming here, talking about options. Like it was that simple. You could have done anything else. You could have let them go. You could have freed Faith and Lily from those fucking ribbons instead of murdering them. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. If I freed them, what would you have me do? Kill her? Georgie, don't. It was them or Vivian. So you tell me, if free Lily meant she had to die, do you still think I had a fucking choice? What are you doing? I told you, you don't know the fuck about anything. Why don't you, you tell me? God. This is the original. What? The girl with the ribbon. I'm sure you've heard the stories. Couldn't take it off. Couldn't talk about it. She used her little purple ribbon to make more of them. To keep our girls quiet. To ensure absolute discretion. You promised you wouldn't. All that magic is connected to this little thing. You remove hers, and the spell's broken. They're all free. But you know what happens to her? The same thing that happened to Faith. So don't uh... you come in here and tell me I fucked up. What the hell, Georgie? We were supposed to look out for each other. I trusted you. You can't fucking blame me. You're not innocent here either. I know that, but did it have to be like this? How could you do this? I thought you cared about them. I do. Of course I do. You have to understand, nobody was supposed to die. <laughs> and yet the failsafe is it, that they die. Okay. Idea. A gimmick. 
Discretion is our guarantee. That's how it started, anyway. This was supposed to be our place. We were gonna be in charge for once, and nobody would try to control us or use us. That was the point. Then the Crooked Man showed up, and everything just turned to shit. So, do you get it now? Why I couldn't just... <clears throat> If you still think it's so fucking simple, then you do it. Go right ahead. Kill her then. What are you doing? Break the spell. Save the fucking day. Stop it. I told you. Sometimes all your options are shit. What the fuck are you supposed to do then? We'll find another way. She she doesn't have to die. Maybe the witches Don't talk can. Don't about me like I'm not even here. Please. You think this is hard for you? My life is such a fucking burden on your conscience. Don't I get a say? It's my life. Like it was either of yours to give up in the first place. You don't get a choice if you're involved in this. I know what I've done. Wait. I'm sick of everyone thinking that they can just do what they want with my life. And yet you put ribbons on other here. people? Whatever. It's all the fucking sense. Vivian, I didn't mean- Do you think I wanted to be this person? What I did to Faith and Lily, to all of them. Vivian, wait, I- Every day I have to look Gwen and Hans in the eye and pretend I don't care. I have to forget what I've done to them, what I took away from them. I look at Nerissa and I hate myself. Vivian! I can't pretend anymore. What are you doing? Vivian, don't! <laughs> oh, Vivian, Georgie. no! Fuck! No, 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 no! Why'd you have to do that, Vivian? Vivian! Shit! Vivian, I didn't fucking mean it. I was just... <sighs> oh. Get up. Get oh, shit. Up. Don't think so, Bigby. How'd that happen? I'm gonna die here. I think we both know that. Just make sure you give the crooked man the same treatment when you find him. Really fuck him up for me, all right? <sighs> for both of us. You know, the bastard deserves it. All right, fine. Make a promise to a dying man. He's gonna have it worse. Don't worry. George, you won't remember that? For how much longer? Old foundry by the river, all right? Shepherd Metalworks. He'll be there. Fucking asshole. You wanna finish me off now? It'd be merciful. Or do you plan to kick me around a little first? Rip my limbs off one by one? That's what you want to do, right? Well, whatever it is, just get it over with. That's not who I am. Prove it then. No more games, all right? We both know how this ends. <laughs> just make it quick. I'll I kill him. What I did. <laughs> Let's not draw this out. All right, let's do it, Georgie. Oh, man. Dude, I'm sorry, but that whole the whole Vivian thing was just a bunch of angst. I'm sorry. That was just uh, it's a bunch of woe is me bullcrap. There's all this. I didn't have a choice. I didn't. You know, I'm being controlled. But they were. They were controlling other people too. They were part of the same ladder. It doesn't make any sense to me to feel sorry for them. I mean, whatever. You know, it's just a game. You can have different opinions, but my. <laughs> I have a firm anti-Georgie Vivian stance at the moment. 
maybe after I think about it a little bit more, I'll come to a different conclusion, but I can only speak for what I'm thinking at the moment. Alright, can I just say, I, I need explanations. Like, I, I feel like nothing got accomplished in that stupid room. I was expecting to get answers, and I didn't get anything. It was just like, oh, Georgie killed him, take him. It's like, well, what's the big picture here, you know? I was kind of expecting to hear more about that. Still more. He's here, all right. But instead, I like, I didn't get shit. I just got, hey, here's Georgie, take him. Oh, now let's pull out the guns, and Bloody Mary comes out of the mirror like a badass. Even though she's not. Whatever, man. Alright, let's go inside and get this over with. <laughs>